Hey, what's up guys? My name is Farjana. Welcome to my another element tips and tricks tutorial. In this video, I will show you how you can create vibrant gradient background color using Elementor. For this tutorial, I am using the Elementor Pro version and little bit of CSS code and normal Elementor elements. Here, I will show you a very simple process and following this simple way, we can add different kind of colors to our background and it will work like a vibrant gradient. Alright, if you like to see this kind of valuable tutorial more, give this video a big thumbs up, otherwise you may not find this kind of valuable tutorial next time. And if you are new here and like to see my more upcoming videos, don't forget to subscribe my channel. Now let's go ahead and without any further ado, let's get started. First, I am taking a new container. So, here I am enabling the container mode. If you don't know how you can activate this, simply go to dashboard and go to Elementor settings. From experiments, you will find the uh, options. Flexbox container. By default, this is not active yet. So, we have to activate and save changes. And then we will find this new structure model, the Flexbox container. Alright, now going to select the first one, direction column. And changing the mean height to 100 VH. So it's taking the full screen size. And changing the background color to a dark color. Going to style tab and changing the background color. I'm making it to a black color and here with this black color I want to add some gradient color so for that go to the plus icon and I'm taking spacer and I'm making the spacer height going to VH or we can take any size I'm making it to 100 VH and going to advance width I'm making it to full width or 100% and now going to background going to gradient and taking the first color I'm taking a blue color and for the second color I'm making it to fully transparent and also for the first color we can make it little bit transparent and then for the second color, select the location to 70 and the type, by default this is linear, I am making it to radial. So our first gradient color is created and the position we can make it to different position. I am making it to default the center center. Alright and now going to layout, scroll down the position making it to absolute and from here we can set the offset position by vertically or horizontally or now we can simply move it by dragging it i'm moving it to the top right corner and simply if we duplicate this one and moving it to a bottom left corner and simply we can change the color to a different color going to advance and if i scroll down going to background and this time i'm taking a different color for example i'm taking a yellow color or we can take the pink color all right and in the same way we can make it one more time we can move it to the right side bottom corner and changing this color to a different color background and changing this pink color to yellow and one more time here and changing it to from background I'm changing it to a different color and finally we can move the position where we like so I'm making the yellow to top right or we can simply go to the navigator and we can move the position from here very easily so we can move it to left and 
if I hide the panel, so our color is currently looking like this. And now one more thing. If we now take a new container after this one, for example, if I take a new one, we can see here all the spacer is taking spacing outside of this container in top and also in bottom. So for that, if I go to container and going to advance, if I scroll down from custom CSS, here I need to add a one line of CSS code. I'm typing selector and using the third bracket and here I'm typing overflow hidden. Alright, so now all the gradient will work inside this container. I'm going to hiding this new area. And now I'm going to add a text inside this container. So going to this nine dots icon and taking a heading. And again going to navigator so it will easy to navigate here is our heading and if I go to container going to layout going to items making the justify content to center and align items to center and going to style tab sorry not from here I need to add some styling without text so going to heading and first of all I need to make it accessible so going to advance and if I scroll down from the Z index we can make it to 2 so now we can easily access this text going here and now going to style tab adding the text color to white and also changing the typography so I'm going to changing the font family and going to increasing the font size font weight bold transform to uppercase and also changing this text and finally making the alignment to center going to style tab add some line height from typography line height I'm adding 1.2 if I hide the panel so it's looking like this or you can increase the font size more and finally if we check the responsive view if I go to responsive mode go to tablet first changing the font size and also if we want to change the background color position or the spacer position we can do it so i'm changing the position for tablet and finally going for the phone so for phone if we want to decrease the spacer size we can also do that going to content and vh we can make it to 50 and now we can move it and also changing the text size all right so now it looks good for responsive view going back and finally saving our page so this is the final result and that's all for today so if you like this video give this video a big thumbs up otherwise you may not find this kind of valuable tutorial next time and if you are new here and like to see my more upcoming videos don't forget to subscribe my channel and finally if you like to work with me for any wordpress project you can contact me through my website thank you for watching see you in the next video